Lisa says it's getting cold. Your breakfast. Why have you not slept? You've not got a cob on, have you? Okay, and what's that on your shirt? See you. Well, let me know when we can move the trap. I mean, them kids. Christmas is only just round the corner. What difference does that make? None, really. It, it just always seems worse. Police have asked us not to say anything until the family's been contacted. I don't know, I'd be right upset. I mean, Angie were always dead good with him. Do they know he's done it? No, they might have done if Chris had got the security cameras fixed. Police want a list of anyone who might have known what was on that truck. All right, I'll see to it. Uh, did you shift it, you know, so it wouldn't get knocked off at party? What? Well, you know, ornament, uh, that thing, um, figurine. Well, I haven't moved it. Well, you've got that many, you probably didn't notice. No, Chris would definitely notice it. That one, that's the Juliet one. Juliet who? As in Shakespeare. You know, it's worth three grand, that. What? For an ornament? I tell you what, why don't you see if your Letitia knows anything about it, eh? Why? Uh, it won't be long now before we're home. I wish we'd never gone in the first place. It was all right at Dad's. You reckon? Oh, come on, that party was brilliant. Anyway, it isn't Dad's. You can tell who wears the trousers in that house. Well, Tara must like you, otherwise she won't want you for a bridesmaid. Oh, if she thinks I'm wearing that dress, she's dafter than I thought. Do it for Dad. Anyway, what are you talking to Mum on the phone about? Just saying how I couldn't wait to get home because Tara was driving me nuts. <laughs> you did. <laughs> what she say? She said to give you a hug and that she loved me. <laughs> Feel a dog rough. Good party then. Mm, not bad. Hey, that chick that Rodney brought was all right. Oh, hardly a chick. She was embarrassing. She fancied me. Ooh, do you reckon? Dead right. I was well in that. Well, what stopped you? Well, I just didn't want to embarrass or humiliate Rodney. Oh, you're a real gent. I oh, know. <laughs> man for joining you? Not much of a brekkie, that, for a grown man. I suppose Gloria's too busy, is she? Do you full English? Sorry, how's the campaign going? Do you have to talk with sauce running down your chin? You know, we'd all love to see Gloria on that train to London. Oh, and why is that? Well, because she's the only one pledged to protecting the environment. Oh, I see. Oh, it'll be funny for you, though, won't it, eh? <laughs> you know, if she gets into Parliament. Why don't you go and fill in a pointless questionnaire in one of those men's magazines you're always pawing over in your wife's shop? How do you know about that? Huh. Oh, it's a joke. <laughs> Don't tell me if though, will you? But you will be playing second fiddle to Gloria. It may come as a surprise to a Neanderthal like you, but in our marriage, Gloria and I are totally equal partners. Yeah, of course, yeah. Well, just like me and Viv. Hardly. Yeah, but I mean, come on. Being mayor of some backwater like Hotton, I mean, it's not like being at Westminster. There is one advantage I can see at being at Westminster. I wouldn't have to put up with being sprayed by your half-chewed breakfast. Speak of the devil! How's it going? Fine. Very busy, of course. Yeah. Me too. Eric? Yes? Your sticker. What a team.
shop, ma'am. Not up. So, Letitia, how does it feel to be flush, eh? What's that supposed to mean? Now she's finished paying me back. Oh, yeah, it's great. I'm rolling in it, me. Oh, well, that must be nice for you. You're having a dig at her, aren't you, about that ornament? Well, do you know anything about it? What is she going on about, ma'am? I will tell you what I'm going on about. There's a valuable figurine gone missing. And what's that got to do with me? That's what I said. Well, you live here. And more to the point, you've already ripped me off to the tune of 1,700 quid. I'd be stupid if I didn't ask you. Hey, I thought you and me had sorted all that out. Yeah, so did I. Look, she made a mistake and she's paid you back. I mean, is she going to be accused every time something goes wrong? I am not accusing her. I'm just making sure that I'm not being taken for a mug. Yeah, well, neither am I. Letitia, pack your bags. I didn't take it. And while you're at it, pack mine too. Come on, Synth, what are you on about? I am sick and tired of me and my family being accused of being thieves and liars. Oh, hardly. You've got that much stuff. You didn't even notice it had gone missing. But I'm expected to feel grateful to you for cleaning up after you, for minimum wage. Well, you can stick it. I'm resigning. Sit. Remember to got an appointment later. Who with? No one. Antique dealer. You couldn't look after the stall in the antiques barn. Oh, he's always giving me earaches and you're cluttering up the place with tap. Oh, but you can get round him. He likes you. It's about the only thing he's got right. See, I knew you wanted me for summer. Cynicism. Your only bad trait. Well, if you want to go and see an antique dealer, see him. Rodney might appreciate your finer qualities, but he knows diddly squat about antiques. <laughs> So you'll do it then? Go on then. Oh. So when are you going to pay Charity back? Oh, it's down to me now, is You're it? All right, oh, sweet. You... Well, she won't starve if she waits a bit. Well, I, I want them house things back here now. Huh? Yeah, well, we all want things we can't have. Well, you can't just walk away from it. I want a word we can. Oh, well, good luck. He's about as talkative as you this morning. <laughs> Burning all your old rubbish, eh? <laughs> what you done to your hand? Caught on a nail. Surprised to see you still here. Thought you were all set to move on. Still might. What's up, sir? Oh, I don't say cops are coming to give me more aggravation. Oh, it's going to Reynolds. Think I'd be used to squad cars pulling up there, wouldn't you? <laughs> Still makes me jump in, huh? Where are you going? Don't talk yourself into any bother. Look, Cynthia, this is mad. Look, just open the door for us. Where are you going to go? I'm, I'm going to go somewhere where my family is not accused of being thieves. What's that? Nothing, just a bit of a misunderstanding, that's all. I've resigned. <laughs> I just asked Letitia if she knew what had happened to the figurine. Does she? You see, that's why I'm going. I've had enough of it. And so have I. I'm fed up with being seen as a soft touch. You! They break into our business premises and steal a truck. A blasted truck. I'm not talking about Seth Armstrong taking the odd trout. Then we, we're good enough to invite them into our home, our home, and they steal from us. Who's the victim here? Well, do not expect us to take blame. Oh, I'll blame who I like. And if you don't like it, or if it hurts your feelings, or you're offended by it, tough. So go on, get out, leave. Yeah, go on. What's up? We've been trying to contact you. It's your mum. She's been involved in a fatal accident. I'm so sorry. No! 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 
someone said there'd been a bad accident on Wakeland Road last night. One of Tate's trucks. Oh, yeah? Anyone hurt? I don't know. The road's still closed, though. Oh, well, every cloud's got a silver lining. I rather doubt that. Oh, well, it means me load of timber can't get through now. I've got the afternoon off. You can come and give me on, then. Ah, you'll stay here all afternoon and get ratted. Hey, why don't you ever turn the dray back, eh? I could shut up shop. You'd have to go home, then, and have an interesting conversation with Beef. Any chance of a quick sandwich? Certainly. Hey, you must need it after a hard day on the hustings. <laughs> Two days to go till D-Day, Gloria. How's it going? If everyone who says they'll vote for me actually does, I think I stand a chance. I'm sure I can rely on your vote. Are oh, you? Yeah. I think it's rather sad young people don't value their democratic rights. Now, what's so great about sending someone on an extended jolly down to London paid for out of our taxes? You pay taxes. Do you? I think it is important that the voice of we country people should be heard. Thank you, Alan. Anyway, never mind our vote. Is uh, Eric voting for you? Despite his all-too-human frailties, you won't find a better man than Eric Pollard. You're not the only one to think so, are you? She wasn't even fit enough to work. Yeah, Mark's right. She was, um... She was off sick. When she came in, I got the impression she'd got unfinished business. It was a truck she was out, was it? Stolen from Tate Haulage. It appears the car ran out of control. Was she taken to the hospital? What does that matter? They were both dead when the ambulance arrived. Both? She was with DC Collins. He was driving. Why? They were working together. She hates him. Oh, she'd have been out the force by Christmas. I know. She really was a well-liked and respected officer. She was leaving because Collins and the rest of you had no respect for her! I know this isn't easy, Ollie. Not for any of us. She'd been a really good friend to me. We can all be very proud of her, Ollie. Proud? Mummy... Mummy's dead. Oh, we're well out of it, ma'am. Stuck up gets. I didn't take it. Never said you did. Then why have you gone all quiet on me? Letitia, I'm not really feeling chatty at the minute. You do believe me, though, don't you? Yeah. Do you mean it? Of course I mean it. I won't be sat here with all my belongings in bin bags. Thanks, man. What are you doing here? I've had a bit of a disagreement with the Tates. Oh, they've never sat you. No, of course not. I jacked it in. <laughs> oh, nice one. Hey, give me some chocolate. Danny, <clears throat> have you heard about Angie? What's she got to do with it? Nothing. It's just that I think there's something you should know. Len's borrowing a pint of milk. Mm. Oh, well, what a nervous for, eh? <laughs> One half a cup of sugar. No, just a milk tar. Well, you know, we've been away for a couple of days and, uh, and you didn't get time to get in. <laughs> well, I don't blame you telling him to stick it. Like a skibby anyway. I know, but I mean, it were a roof and regular money. What do you know? Well, we're not going groveling back. I might have guessed I'd find you here, Skyving. What's up? You've got two days to spare. Tate's accused me of nicking an ornament. No. Yeah, and then my mum walked out. That was a bit drastic, wasn't it? Yeah, well, no one walks over me or my kids. No. no of course not. Uh, but don't you live at home farm? Used to. Well, where are you going to go? I've got nowhere. Right. Come with me. If only these folk would go out and rob other people would stop and think for five minutes. Hmm. 
Oh, Mark found that out. <sighs> I'm sorry, love. I didn't... How are they taking it? Well, I don't think it's hit them yet. Well, to be honest, I had to come out for a bit, cos... Every time I looked at him, I just choked up. And I didn't think that was helping much. Let her on with crying, mate. Shed enough tears over mine. I can't think when I last saw her. It was only a couple of days ago, but I just can't think. Isn't that awful? Your mind just shuts things out. Can you think when we last saw Angie? No idea. Look, I'd best be off. Thanks ever so much for the brewer. I really appreciate it. All right, love. Let us know if you need help. Oh, I think will be back by tea time, eh? Well, she can please herself. Large malt, please, Bob. Yeah, and I'll have the same, please. Oh, someone must be having a bad day. And night, but the yard for most of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard one of your lorries is involved with an accident. Was it bad? Oh, you've not had the full SP then? Oh, someone heard? Should I tell him? You may as well. Please say they've told the family. Yeah, uh, two police officers were killed driving after the truck. One of them was Angie Reynolds. You know how difficult it is to find reasonably priced accommodation around here. It could take months, if ever. If you don't want us, that's fine. No, it's not that, but your family hasn't had entirely happy experiences here, have they? Right. Come on. Dad, these are desperate people. I know it's difficult. They only need one room. How are you going to pay for it? Well, you're not going to charge them, are you? All right. Well, this isn't a charitable institution, is it? What difference would a day or two make? The room's empty anyway. Dad. <coughs> and look at the little one. Oh, bless it. <coughs> On a very, very temporary basis. Oh, thanks, Alan. We won't be any trouble at all. <coughs> is there a Miss Letitia Daggett here? <coughs> What reminders of in this? You won't know, will he? Go back to the pub if you like. Oh, I couldn't stand listening to them all going through the motions. Most of them hardly knew her. Not like I did. You think you'll know when we got back together? I don't know. I was rotten to her last time I saw her. Oh, Christ, when I think about it. Hey, hey, Angie could dish it out too, you know. Yeah, but how could something this good end this way? I mean, the stuff we said. I just can't help wondering, you know, if I'd have stood up to Dingle and helped her through all that garbage she was getting at work, you know, what might have been. I don't know why they keep picking on our Letitia. Prejudice, love. I, I know, but there were, there were loads of people at that party. I mean, it could have been anyone. Even the Tates. Well, insurance job? No, they wouldn't. Well, you know them better than I do. What are they charging you? You better ask her. A valuable item has gone missing. We have to make our inquiries. Yeah, well, I hope you're going to question everyone that was at that party, including the Tate's grand friends. See how they like it. Thanks for your help. Is that it? For now. Well, I don't think you'll be hearing from them again. I'd better go and see how Danny's coping. You've got a great kid there. Uh, Steph. I just wanted to say thanks, you know, for sorting this out and speaking up for our Letitia. Well, that's all right, love. That's what friends are for. I don't want to help. Aye, I know that. At least I set your nose in, have you? I'm your dad. What does that mean? Means everything to me. I don't like seeing you hurting, son. Oh, I spoke to life hurting. No, nothing like this, though. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. 
Now I say now won't make any difference anyway. I know that you taught the world of her. Even if she were... There's no ifs and buts. I love her. Huh. I'll tell you something else no one else knows. She loved me and all. Oh. Even you don't believe me, do you? It don't matter, does it? She loved me. 